guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode 6 of Power of Hope. Pretty careful, Bloom. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. It's winter! Yay! <laughs> Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Yeah, everything's fine. Which is, we know from her. But how can they be sinister if they're de-aging the girls and bringing them back into teenagers so that they can transform again?
Yeah. Once again, my babies, just seeing these two together, oh. Great design. I know that hurt to say. Aww. Well, not only that, something's on your mind. Your mom can clearly know that and sees that and hears it. Mm. And... She had to work all night. We went into shadow people, now we're going into shadow dogs. A cute ring though. I would buy it.
She's right, honestly. observed her. That's really unfair. And plus, this is the time for me to talk to her. The shadow dog. talk about fair now and, and you got hugely popular <laughs> Babies are on a Three. Besides that, there's something else. Go on, you can talk to her.
I get that. It, it's a tough journey every single freaking day. But it's not supposed to come easy. That's why it's so challenging sometimes. If it was easy, we all be... Psh, what, comfortable? Being an adult means sometimes when you feel a certain type of way, not only talking to your family is good, talking to your friends, getting other different opinions is just sweet, and then getting encouraging moments and thoughts and everything. Yeah, it's not hard. There are some good days and bad days. You got this, baby. Don't be afraid. Still looks good. <laughs> Make it a three. A course. A freaking course.
Hmm? <laughs> like, oh, maybe we shouldn't do this. Had to be. And plus, also you. I mean, I Well, we know who's going to be the focus next week. My baby. <laughs> oh, I'm not ready. I feel for her. And, and honestly, that's a good way to end the episode because it also, once again, it tells you who's going to be the main focus next week. And the challenges that Urara is currently facing. Because, yeah, like, her director is being a major B. But congratulations, Rin. I, you know, number one, because we also got to talk about this. I love how Karin got not one, but two episodes where she is with her ships and having moments with her ships. I just love it. It's just so good because, yeah, they feel so good together. I can't. It's like I love them so freaking much. Like, brah. It's everything. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> but, okay. With Belle, we know that there's another reason on why she's here. Now, with the fact of the flowers that are kind of blooming when the girls are transformation again. Transformation. <laughs> Wrong word. Transforming again. And that, you know, that's just like something about that ain't right. It is a little weird. That they're only blooming when the girls are transforming. So it makes you wonder when both Kom Komachi and Urara eventually transform in the next, what, two episodes that we do have left before every pretty here for officially is now transformed again fully. What's going to happen with these flowers? Bye, they're gonna give them so much moments next week. Oh my god, my ship. The ship. <laughs> the shipping wars. The ships are winning with this show. I cannot. Like, we're going in, except with, you know, Saki and I. We don't talk about that. <laughs> we're gonna try not to talk about it. But seriously. It does make me wonder when all these time flowers are done blooming, is that going to help Belle? That's the biggest issue. Now, what if maybe the only reason she's here... <sighs> somebody had to bring her down, so someone else was born. She was born due to somebody's like anxiety, any type of emotion or something. Which we saw in the first episode, yes, but now, because because that character that knows me was trying to, like, help go to a different school and such, her and her dad are gone. So, I wouldn't think he's the number one, like, you know, what, you, okay, how can I word this, like, quote-unquote, patient zero. Someone else has to be the, the true patient zero out of all of this. Now, it could be one of the pretty cures. It could be Nuts and Coco. It could be someone that we have not truly seen yet and such. But 
she's here for a reason. And it has to be to whoever Patient Zero is. Now, are we going to see that? I don't know. We're halfway through this show. And mm -hmm, anything can freaking happen, truly. But once again, congratulations, Tomin. I really wish that, like, honestly, we could have gotten her to redo her conference and stuff and talking about like the same ring but saying like oh I have different changes for it but I still want something similar to this ring because it would have been nice to see an update on that but because we went talking about the ring and everything else she wanted to do and then going into Kane and Ring we didn't really get that like in my opinion the ending that I wanted for her so hopefully when we do get to the final episode of this series during what Christmas Sometime during next month. Um, hopefully we get to see that ending. And then plus my other biggest issue is the thing with Komachi and her struggling trying to write a novel. Even though next week is going to be a Urara focus based episode. Hopefully just like they did with this with Rin and showing that sneak peek of Urara. Uh oh. Hopefully, by the end of next week's episode, they do the same thing, where she's still struggling, trying to find, to find, my word, Jesus Christ, um, what she wants to write about. That's when Nuts needs to also come in, sweep in, have a moment with her, which we hope that we get to see in the next couple of weeks, which we, we've gotten the moments between those two but i really want to have a sit down conversation with her and be like okay let's really talk about the issue that yeah you're struggling you're you're having a hard time trying to figure out what to write that's what we're also getting with Urara and syrup next week which so once again i honestly cannot wait because it's gonna be so freaking cute and wholesome because these are two ships that i shipped a lot and i love so freaking much so any moment that we get to have with them i i'm a happy girl regardless but other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 6 of Power of Hope. Pretty careful, Bloom. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for episode 7. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.